Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today we're going to drop a router lift into an already existing bench top. Hopefully you can use this information to save space in your shop or to learn how to make a router table with dust collection and bit storage. Before we get started, I just wanna say, up until this point, I have edited every single video, but today, this video that you're watching right now, camera Dan is editing. This is his very first edit. So if you like it, give him a high five. If you don't like it, maybe this time you can keep your opinions to yourself. He's sensitive. I'm sensitive. We're all sensitive. Also, there's no reason for me to be filming back here in the, in the new corner. I'm just showing off the new corner. Check. This is my current router situation. I bought this stand and added to it a few years ago, and this has worked great. But recently, we added this little confessional corner area, and this is now invading that space. To make up more space in the shop, I'm going to pull out the router lift, and it's going to go into the miter station. It's gonna be a little tricky because, I'll show you. We need to have a hole for this to drop into, but also have a little lip and little adjustable screws in here. That's, that's dirty. Dan, take a look at that. If you're wondering, that's the Incra router lift. I've had it for years, no complaints. And then just the Porter cable router that everybody has. I think the first thing I need to do, make a little wood template to the exact size of this so we can have a router bit follow that wood template. You might have to get a little creative with the clamps, depending on the positioning of your, of your table here. You could even screw that down if you wanted to, but this is the bit that we're going to use. It's got a, uh, a bearing there on the shaft. That's going to ride along that template right there. So I've got my first pass. I don't have to do the whole thing because we're gonna take a jigsaw and cut that out. What I did find was I didn't have support on this side and the rotter would tip, so it kind of dug in in a couple spots. So I took this piece of scrap and put it in the middle there to give me support on all the sides. You can also make a bigger base. I just wasn't thinking, but it'll be fine because none of this is going to be seen. But I did end up eating into my template a little bit, which might give me a little, a little, you know what I'm saying? It's shop furniture. I mean, it is walnut, but it's shop furniture. So now I'm going to raise the bit and do a second and final pass along the edges. So we have that second pass. Hopefully it's the right depth. And we're going to cut out this little section right here with the jigsaw. So this would drop in like so. Ah, okay. So we gotta. No! One more time, Dan. Dan, when I say one more time, I actually mean two more times. I will kill you. This one, if it doesn't work, we're gonna quit woodworking. It all rides on this. That fits in there. It's just below the surface. So we got to get some set screws and put them in there. I'm sure this router lift came with set screws and I'm sure I've lost them. So I need to go get some, but that will level it out and you want it exactly the same height as the table. To mount it to the table, these are the bolts there. I'm just gonna push that through and then put a nut on the bottom to secure that. So now we'll take out this T-Trek, throw it over here and route a little groove for it to drop in there. Mm -hmm. Don't put that in there. Now, whew. so I just gotta take a chisel, clean up that area right there. Mm -hmm. Ah! 
<laughs> Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. We need to add a fence. So I need to create two slots with a hole there over here. But we have one problem is we've got the T-track for the miter saw right here. So I think we're going to have to notch that out to make room for those slots. And this just has to go back far enough where it's out of the way when I want to use the miter saw. Crazy, I know, but that's gonna work as a straight edge. <laughs> so when I go to tighten it, that T-bolt just spins. So what I need to do is make a little runner and just glue it on one side of the slot underneath. So when I turn that, that T-bolt has something to catch on and can tighten. So I've got some screws started in there and some double-sided tape. The tape is just there to hold it temporarily. I can put that T-trap back in there. I gotta make sure well, you don't cover up that slot and that slot right there. Dirty little slot. One of the reasons I really love this table was the dust collection underneath. It has this little thing from Rockler that uh, collects the dust and then there's a dust port back there. So I want to reintroduce this to that over there. So I'm gonna take this off. So we're just trying to get the hose there to go on the other side for the dust collection. Heck yeah. The great thing about this dust collection is it has dust collection underneath as well as on top. So now I need to drill a hole for this hose up top here. <laughs> me. We got, we got real lucky and the drawers from the old one fit in this space. So that works. So now I gotta do the bottom drawer. You can see this top drawer is this U shape. So it can go around the dust collection and I can have these little fixtures or whatever to hold all the router bits. And we have to put a walnut face on there so everything matches. You can't have a shop that doesn't match. This isn't, mm -hmm. got the two drawers installed. My least favorite part of any project. And now we got this start and stop button that we're going to screw on here. All right, so able to use the drawers from the old ones, we just had to make new faces. So I cut up some walnut plywood so it matches everything else. Last thing I have to do is add a coat of shellac. We can call it a day. So there it is. We saved so much room by putting this in the miter saw station. If you're wondering, this is the stop for the miter saw. It does clear the fence there so it doesn't get in the way. And then this moves up and then we can clamp it into place. I do need to get a longer hose so that stays connected there. But this is, it just looks cool. We got this drawer here, this U-shaped drawer to hold all the bits. We got this big bin down here to hold all my router jigs and my palm router. It usually looks way messier than that, but this, this wall is looking good. This whole area is gonna change soon. My buddy Matt is gonna come over. And we're gonna do a big mural over here. And then over here, last week we made this cool little uh, confessional area, this little talking head area that we're gonna do cool stuff in. So the shop is coming along. This is all gonna be really colorful very soon, this mural. It's gonna be, it's gonna be badass. That's all I gotta say. So I'm really happy with the way this is looking. So I took off the fence about a year ago to my miter station and no regrets. People ask me all the time, do you regret removing the fence? No, this is all the fence that I need for my miter station. Then I got these stops here. So saved a lot of space. Things are looking good. That wraps it up this week. We'll see you real soon with another project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.